Hello, let's talk about these three things now. Ratio, scale factor and proportion. Well, we have a video on ratios and then we have also talked about scale factor and proportion. But now let's see them together. How are they similar? How are they related? And how are they different? Okay. Now, let me write you what do you think? I, let me write some ratios here first. When I write a ratio, I normally write like this. 2 is to 3, correct? So when I write this, it is 2 to 3. The ratio is 2 is to 3. These are different ways of saying this ratio, correct? Or I could say 4 is to 5. So this, what I have written, is a ratio. So when we write like this, it's kind of a fraction. We can write this as 2 over 3 and this as 4 over 5. 4 out of 5. It really means that in that case, if we write in fractions. But in ratios, we are comparing two things. So any two things is not really out of. For example, if we have a rectangle here, and let's say the sides of the rectangles are in the ratio of 4 is to 5. That means width may be 4 and length may be 5. So we say the sides, two sides are in the ratio of 4 is to 5. So not it is not really out of as we do it in fractions. So that is how ratio is different from fractions, right? That is, you should be clear about it. So we are trying to understand different terms why they are used differently. So as you see, fractions normally are used when you are taking something out of a whole, right? Ratios are when we are comparing two similar things. These are dimensions of a rectangle. One may be width, the other may be length. And width is to length is in the ratio of 4 is to 5. It is a good idea to always specify what to what. So width to length is 4 is to 5. So that is how we talk about ratio. I hope you understand what is ratio, correct? So this is all about ratio, correct? Now, scale factor. What happens sometimes? We may have to increase the proportion. I'll use the two terms, proportion. Let's say we have a recipe, right? And you have a recipe for, let us say, two people. But suppose if there are 10 people coming, then what will you do? You will multiply the same recipe ratios by a scale factor. Now instead of 2, we are having how many people? So we have 2 and instead of 2, we are getting 10. So in what ratio should I multiply or how should I change my ratio? So what you will do is, this is one recipe. This recipe, let me say R, right? And this is, let's say, big R. Correct? So this recipe has few things in some ratio. Correct? Now what we will do? Now we have to make those things for not for 2 people but for 10 people. So we need to multiply it by 5. Right? So when we say multiply by 5 so that the same recipe can be used instead of four, 2 people by 10 people. Correct? So this 5 is called the scale factor. Do you understand? So this number by which we are multiplying a ratio is called the scale factor. So let us say we have a recipe and uh, we are making let us say lemonade, right? And in lemonade we add let's say in one glass of water we add let's say one tablespoon of lemon and let's say five tablespoon of sugar so this is lemon and this is sugar and this is water correct yes if you do this then you can serve let us say two people this for two persons now let us say you have to make this recipe for 10 people. Then what will you do? You will times it by 5 so that you get recipe for 10 people. 
in that case in which ratio will you do this you'll do 5 times 1 so we get 5 here right how 1 times 5 is that okay and here what this is glass of water glass of water okay now here it is tablespoons 1 times 5 so in the ratio of 5 tablespoon and here also we have sugar it will get multiplied by 5 so 5 times 5 you get 25 tablespoons of sugar do you understand so we make now our lemonade using 5 glass of water instead of 1 glass 5 tablespoons of lemon lemon juice I mean instead of 1 tablespoon and 25 tablespoons of sugar instead of 5 tablespoons to serve 10 persons correct so 5 is your scale factor right now when we do this we can also write this as 1 is to 1 is to 5 is equal to 5 is to 5 is to 25 you see that so what we did here this is our one glass of water right and this is one tablespoon of lemon and this is five tablespoon of sugar and this was for two persons what we did we times all this by five so five is our scale factor this is our original ratio is it okay original ratio for the recipe of lemonade now this was for two persons correct now we had 10 so since we had 10 persons so it should be recipe should be multiplied by 5 and now we get a new ratio so what we get is also a ratio correct and the new ratio is 5 glass of water with 5 tablespoons of lemon and 25 tablespoons of sugar correct so these two are equivalent ratios they are equal if you see but they have multiplied by scale factor and these equivalent ratios are referred to as in proportion do you see and this is how we relate them so now we have these two ratios and the relation between them we say proportion so proportion is a term which we normally use when we scale a picture or something do you understand or recipes right for example if I enlarge this picture so we say we have enlarged the picture and but both pictures are proportional that means they are similar but they are multiplied by a scale factor do you understand now but still they have a ratio the ratio for picture will be width to length ratio for our recipe was water to lemon juice to sugar do you understand i hope now you understand all the three terms so if i just write you have to think which one is ratio if i write 4 is to 5 this is a ratio correct and if I write equal to let's say we multiply this by 3 so we get 3 times 4 12 is to 3 times 5 15 then what is the scale factor scale factor is times 3 because you multiply each of them and what do you get what you get is an equivalent ratio so this is also a ratio and this ratio is equal to the previous ratio which was multiplied by 3 so that equal sign says that it is equivalent ratio and both of them together in this form of an equation reflects a proportion so they are in proportion they are similar do you see that that's how one should look into it I hope you understand concept of ratio scale factor and proportion correct thank you